Sequin Agenda has put her stamp on that side of it and she's raced away from the inside division so Sequin Agenda on the inside and on this side Tempe not ahead of Ottoman but on the far side it is all the favourite Sequin Agenda she wins it in a breeze from Tempe not second Lake Geneva's got up for third I'd say from Ottoman fourth and uh, just behind them Rhea Pinker the second, third, fourth and fifth all coming over on the far side, the grandstand side of the course. The winner's absolutely romped it in. Back behind those horses on the flat side of the track was uh, Little Indian in company with Lady Esprit and Zara Bay. Well back in the field was Petit Reward who did show some pace. Band on the runners back towards the end. Uh, surge ahead on the grandstand side, rear pinker. Uh, Ocean Embers is one of the last over. Minetti showed speed and dropped out of it as it pours down at Plymouth in the favourite wins. That was an outstanding win by number six secret agenda for Mick Price and Damien Oliver. She has absolutely powered away from her rivals over the concluding stages to win and win well. The winning rider here, champion jockey, and this is just an outstanding performance. When you look at secret agenda, over on the far side of the course, or the inside rail as most would refer to it. She's beaten her rivals on that side of the track by about 10 lengths. Standing performance by this filly. The overall time is pretty good, guys, considering the conditions here. She's run 104.09, which is less than two si uh, seconds outside the course record. Yeah, it's certainly going to be tough to line up the times given rain during the day, but uh, it's a useful gallop at its own right from what I can gather. I think the most salient point is the one you've touched on, uh, that she has beaten her race, the inside race, by 10. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all come in the outside. Hi guys, Mick Price here up at the Magic Millions as usual every year. Uh, lot 299 on behalf of Blue Bloods is an I Am Invincible filly. It's a really nice filly. It's athletic, it's a great mover out of an exceeding Excel mare, out of a fast exceeding Excel mare. I Am Invincible, if you just look at I Am Invincible and the horses that he's had on the ground like Brazen Bow, look, we had a winner Melbourne Cup day, a filly uh, called Invincible Heart who will improve and improve and uh, really like the breed. The stallion, uh, his horses make good money. I thought this filly's been really well bought. She's very athletic filly.
Secret agenda now, Ollie clicks her up and she gets away a length and a half on Hay Bar in a smile. Regatta del Corsa trying to get up on the inside, but Secret agenda shot two lengths in front of in second placing Hay Bar boxing on Regatta del Corsa and in a smile, but it is all Secret agenda. She's trotted in like a good filly. One of five, three and a half. Joined by Rock Temple. Rock Temple up on the outside of Dashing Ceramibo and Rock Temple won the first from Dashing Ceramibo. Three. Lofty's menu drifting out towards the centre, won't reach it. And he cost and he leads all the way, beats Lofty's menu. And Madonna... Le Mans dashed to the lead, 100 to go, and put a space in them. Le Mans really charging at the end, went on to win by three and a half lengths. Close the balloon is a couple of lengths in front though, and Baluti all the way. One of by length and three quarters. Side of Whisper had a revolver on the outside, hit the front, and Black Revolver will go down and beat the Alfonso and Lucky Lucky Lucky. Then the